GC Initial IQ family of ceramic materials were designed for you, the dental professional. In an ever-changing industry, GC America has developed revolutionary new materials to make dental laboratories more productive in less time, without compromising aesthetics. GC Initial IQ, the new one-body press-over metal and press-over zircon systems, are feldspar-based pressable ceramics that demonstrate unsurpassed lifelike aesthetics in no time. The totally new technologies of pre-blended ingots and the GC Initial IQ three-dimensional luster paste add up to an internal light dynamic which exhibits unrivaled vitality and natural luster. Both systems are ideally suited for the fully anatomical contour pressing. Although the cutback technique is perfectly possible, it is no longer necessary to achieve ultimate aesthetics. This revolutionary new system is extremely easy to learn and easy to use. Cast or CAD CAM made metal frameworks are finished using tungsten carbide metal burrs or ceramic bonded grinding instruments and oxidized according to alloy manufacturer's instructions. Apply the first opaque layer or wash layer with the GC Initial MC Paste opaques in a thin layer using a flat brush. Before firing, fluorescent crystals are applied on the opaque surface. After the first coat of opaque and flue crystals are fired, a second layer of opaque is applied in the usual manner. The opaque should be brushed on evenly, just filling in the flue crystals. Make sure that the opaque is applied thin and even. Both the wash firing and the second firing should be fired at 940 degrees Celsius and the appearance should be shiny. For zirconia substructures, it's recommended to use a pre-colored zirconium dioxide frameworks. The pre-colored zirconium frame structures can be changed in color and fluorescence by applying a thin wash layer of power frame modifiers. Power frame modifiers should be fired at 900 degrees Celsius. After the opaque or power frame modifier firings, the restoration is ready to be completely waxed up to full anatomical contour and function. The minimum thickness for both labial and buckle for pressed restorations should be 0.8 millimeters to reach an acceptable aesthetical end result. The wax sprue should be 3.0 to 3.5 millimeters and should be applied 5 to 6 millimeters in length. They should not taper towards the pattern. The pattern should be rounded out with no sharp edges. Consider the direction of flow of the ceramic material. The patterns are waxed carefully onto the ring base, forming an angle of 45 degrees. It is important to weigh the objects before investing. To get the right wax weight, the frame structure has to be weighed before and after the anatomical wax up. After sprueing, the ring can now be invested using GC Multi-Press Vest. Mix GC Multi-Press Vest according to the instructions for use with a vacuum mixer. After filling the investment ring carefully, put on the mold base form, turning it gently. Note, the investment needs to extrude easily through the opening. After the investment sets, remove the mold base by turning it carefully. Then push the investment cylinder out of the silicone ring. Smooth the underside by using a plaster knife at a 90 degree angle in a stable position. Note, check the correct fit of the silicone cylinder before investing. The base of the cylinder must be absolutely flat at a 90 degree angle. This way the mold stands perfectly in an upright and stable position in the injection furnace. After 20 minutes, put the investment ring with the funnel pointing downward centrally in the furnace, preheated to 850 degrees Celsius. Preheating is 60 minutes. If there is more than one ring in the furnace, each holding time should be extended by 10 minutes per additional ring. Note that the initial IQ ingots and plungers do not need to be preheated. The time and temperature will depend on the ring size being used. Please refer to the GC Initial IQ Manual.
It is very important that all pressing ovens are regularly calibrated. If the ingots are fired at a lower temperature, this may change the CTE causing cracks and chipping. After cooling, mark the length of the plunger on the investment ring and cut to separate along the length of the mark using a suitable cutoff disc like a sintered diamond disc. Afterwards, carefully break apart the two sections. Roughly sandblast the injected patterns with glass beads, four bars of pressure with 50 microns. Then clean the objects carefully and completely with two bars of pressure and 50 microns. It is important not to use aluminum oxide. Cut the sprues carefully using a suitable cutoff diamond disc. Use no pressure and allow rotation. The contact areas and porcelain shoulders have to be treated with caution. In case of small failures, a correction powder of each ingot color is available in the sets. Please refer to the manual for correction firing parameters. At this time, the final contouring and finishing of the restorations can be made. Now the restorations are ready for the luster paste application to achieve vitality and gloss.